Welcome, 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 collective. Thanks for tapping in. This is Queen here, back here again with another general intuitive energy read. Remember to see what resonates and to leave the rest, okay? Don't know what's coming out, but we'll see. We'll see, collective, for masculine. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for the collective? Remember, this is a general message. Okay, let's keep that in mind. What message do you have for the collective Holy Spirit? Spirit guides. What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Please and thank you. What do they need to know? Okay, right off the bat. It says set your course. Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan. The right direction. And then we have a moment's regret. It says nostalgia. Idealizing the past. Fearing, fearing that you made a mistake. So the energy I'm getting here, collective, is set the course so there won't be any regrets here. Know where you're going, which way you're going, what you want to do. Have a plan. Okay. Wow. And basically know where you wish to go. Okay. In the right direction. Make sure you're going the right direction so there won't be a moment of regret is what Spirit is saying here. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have uh, keep your temper. Okay, it's on the bottom of the deck. Don't make anger. Um, don't allow anger to rule you. It says don't allow anger to rule you. So have a plan. Know which way you want to go, what you want to do, whatever that is. You know, so there won't be a moment's regret. Avoid whatever anger this is. Uh, keep your temper. Okay, whatever this is, you may, you may find out. I don't know, but let's see. Let's put a little terror on. Holy Spirit, what's the message is here for the collective? Please and thank you. What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Please and thank you. Remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I deeply appreciate it. Thank you for my A1 Day 1s. Your first time here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You'll find nothing but love here. Love and the truth. Okay. So Holy Spirit, what message do you have for the collective? Please and thank you. For the cosmic gods and goddesses who love keeping it real with you. Because you keep it real with us. Oh, let me let me do this. So what do we have here, Divine Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, have a plan so there won't be no regrets here. All right, collective. Okay. It's what Spirit is saying here. And remember to keep your temper. What's here, Holy Spirit? What they need to be aware of. Please and thank you. We have the Fool's card in the reverse. There's a couple more that flipped over. Let me see if they come out. We have hesitation, recklessness, okay? Choices, risk taking. Okay, so whatever choice you make, make sure it's not, that you're not taking a risk, okay? You know, have a plan, all right? We have the uh, lover's card in the reverse here, okay? So this is dealing with a relationship. Make sure you don't make any um, bad choices or um, don't be indecisive know exactly what you want to do okay but don't let it be a choice that you'll regret so timing and planning is a factor here okay you don't want to disharmony here first and foremost spirit wants you to love yourself okay and then you know if you have to make a choice in a in a relationship in a love relationship or a commitment you know make sure it's not a bad choice Okay, you don't want to regret getting into a relationship that you wish you never gotten into. What else is here, Spirit? Clarify. Because somebody's hesitating right now. Okay? Somebody doesn't want to make a bad choice. 
Okay. But then there's also somebody who's willing to take that risk here. The spirit doesn't want you to be in regret here. Okay. Wow. Not being a uh, misalignment of your values. Okay. Use your intuition. Okay. Use your intuition. Right here we have the high priestess here. Wow. Trust yourself. You know, trust your intuition here. There's something about this person that you may not see because you're only seeing what you want to see with with your physical eyes and not with your spiritual heart. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands um, in the reverse here. Okay, conflict with others. Okay, a breakdown in communication. This is why spirit is... I uh, want you to really, you know, know what, what it is that you want so there won't be any regrets. Okay, and making this choice or decision here. Okay. Wow. Because somebody's wishing for something, but make sure that you're wishing for the right thing is what I'm getting here. So, Spirit, what, what do they need to know about this? Please and thank you. Don't get into something that you'll regret. Okay. Because, you know, uh, this could be reckless. It could be could be taking a risk, okay? It could be a bad idea, bad choice, okay? Yeah, bad choices here twice. So this definitely could be a bad choice in a relationship. If you're thinking about getting in a relationship with um, someone and you're not in a relationship yet and you're feeling kind of apprehensive about this one, follow your intuition, okay? Wow, make sure that you're communicating with your person clearly and that they clearly understand you and what you expect and you clearly understand them and what they expect because Spirit doesn't want you to have a moment of regret, whoever you are. All right, what well, they need to know about this person, Spirit, please and thank you that they're thinking about the person that's on their mind. What do they need to know? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know about this person? That spirit does not want them to be in regret about. Yeah. They want to tell you the truth. Which means to me that this person is holding back something. Um, something that they... They haven't came clean with themselves with it about yet. You know, honest with themselves about it yet. So definitely, definitely, you know. They want to tell you the truth. They want to reveal this to you. But... They have, I don't know, um, they haven't made things right within themselves yet. Made things right within their spirit yet. Okay, with the Most High. All right. This person probably hasn't been to church in a long time, you know. But they want to tell you the truth. But just because they want to tell you the truth don't mean that they'll tell you the truth. Okay. But they do have desire, but I'm, I'm seeing that they haven't been sitting on a church pew in a long time, okay? So, I don't know. They may need to go to purgatory first. I'm just saying. They have some type of secret or something they need to reveal to you. Some, some kind, type of truth that you need to know about before you get involved with this person. What else do they need to know, Holy Spirit? Hmm. Spirit is saying, trust yourself. Like, before you trust this person, trust yourself. What's your spirit? So, Ty, I always feel connected to you. Wow, maybe you're attracting a bad choice. Okay, maybe this person that you're attracting is really in fear of commitment and they don't know how to tell you. They don't know how to be honest with you. And, and that's why Spirit wants you to know. You're going to speak up to this person and ask them what is, it, what is it that they expect from you. And, you know, you guys have to communicate, uh, dialogue back and forth. Find out what this person expects from you and you let them know what you expect from them. I mean, and don't be afraid to speak up. Use your voice, okay? That's what Spirit is saying. Wow. It's a long road ahead. I'm hearing it's a long road ahead. Okay, wow. And there's something this person needs to tell you. 
some type of truth that needs to speak to you before, you know, you get into this relationship. Because it could be a lot of conflict. It could be a breakdown in communication somewhere. Somebody could say that they misunderstood you or you could say you misunderstood them. You know, uh, this could be a bad choice. What's your spirit? What does my beautiful collective need to be aware of? Yeah, before you make this commitment with this person, okay, use your intuition, all right? Trust yourself. This person has secrets. There's some, something mysterious about this person that's on your mind collective, okay? They want to be a part of your future, but there's something that's hidden about this person here. What else is here, Holy Spirit? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? What they need to know, what they need to be aware of. Please and thank you. See, this person is confused. Okay? They're confused because they're unclear about where they stand, not just with you, but what will happen if they don't be fully honest and open with, with, with you? And they know um, that it would be a bad choice. I mean, literally, this person is confused and spirit wants you to recognize that as soon as you get with this person, they'll probably run away. All right. So spirit doesn't want you to have any regrets in making this decision here. So what else is here, spirit? Tell us more about this person. Please and thank you. Tell us more about this person. What are they hiding from the collective? Wow, this is what I am going to church to a spiritual hater. Wow. Yeah. Hates, your, hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power. They don't want to tell you that, though. Wow, that's why Spirit is saying this person may be a bad choice. Especially in a commitment here. Use your intuition on this one, Collective. This person is actually in fear of commitment. <laughs> wow. They don't know how to tell you. They don't know how to tell you that they're in fear of being in a commitment because they don't know how to tell you the truth. Well, at least they've been honest about that, huh? What else is about this uh, person? Spirits that my Collective needs to be aware of. Please and thank you. They are broke ass. They don't have no money. Okay. Wow. This will cause an imbalance in a relationship too. And a commitment. If somebody's coming in and they know they don't have anything to offer, it does, you know, alter the mind and alter the relationship. Um, in a way, you know, where things could completely go downhill really fast, okay. So Spirit wants you to, you know, have this person lay it all out on the table, you know, communicate, um, let them know what you expect and vice versa, okay, before you get into this commitment. Because this person may not have any money, but they may have something on down the line. I don't know. Let's see. But right now, they're also, you know, they're, they're uh, they hate on your spirituality. They hate the fact that you, you love the most high, that you, you are a light, you know, um, wow. Or you could be a light worker. Alright. You could also be a psychic, a reader. You could be telepathic. And they may think that you could see right through them that, you know, that they are a broke ass or they're confused. They they may think that you could read them or something like that, you know? Wow. Hmm. This person could be wanting to marry you for your money, okay? Because they don't have any. They don't want to tell you that truth. You know, they see that you're a good person. And they hate on your spiritual light because they're not in that place where you are. Okay? Wow. And this, this came in the reverse here, all right? So this person could be with you just to get a sex fix or something like that um, because they know that as soon as you find out that they're broke and they don't have any fucking money you're not gonna fucking want to deal with this person 
Okay. Wow. And you just don't want to be this person's secret lover either. You know, somebody that drops by every now and then to tap it, you know, or to get tapped. You name it. You know what I'm saying? So, this came in sideways to an adverse position. Bad karma. Okay, this person isn't necessarily bad karma. They're just not being all the way honest with you. All right? Tell us more. Hmm. Let me lay these sideways. They may want to have a future with you as far as, you know, you being a quick sex fix for them, be a masculine or feminine. Okay, but it's unclear about where they stand. But right now, you know, they teeter tartar and on whether to tell you the truth, to reveal these things and be open to you about it. That's why I said it's important that you ask the questions and that you use your dis discernment, use your intuition. Okay, because right now this person is it's, it's like they don't have the connection to the most high like you do. Okay. And I don't know if you have time to hold their hand and lead them, you know, to the light where you are or, you know, if this is just a bad choice because it was double confirmation on a bad choice, you know. So what else, Spirit? What else about this person? Or this person could just want you to be a secret lover, okay? I don't know. We're going to see. Hmm. This person could just want to feed off your energy, okay? They don't want to tell you about that. Or this person could just be want to get next to you to um, copy your work. It might be something that you do that this person may be interested in. Okay. Wow. This person could have sought you out. Okay. And figured that you, you, you know, you'd be a keeper. You know what I'm saying? That um, by you being, you know, um, in your spirituality and everything like that. They looked you up. They might have found you online. You might have met them online. Uh, you may not have. You guys might have just been friends on social media. Or you might have just met just, you know, by happenstance or whatever. But this person has been researching you. And they know that, that you're a winner here. You know what I'm saying? So, And they know that you're probably somebody, like I said, you could be a reader. You could be a psychic. You could be telepathic. Very intuitive. You know, by all means, a light worker. Okay, but this person's trying to find out some information on you. And Spirit is saying you need to find out some information on this person. Allow this person to communicate with you so you can open up and read this person like a book. Okay, before you make a bad choice. Because so far, this, this person is only in it for a quick sex fix or to be a secret lover to you. Okay. They don't necessarily want to bring any bad karma towards you. But they're not sure about wanting to be a commitment. They may say they want to, but it's really about a, a quick sex sex fix or you being a secret lover. Okay. Anything else here, Spirit? Before we dig up a little dirt on this person. <laughs> I hope Spirit let us dig up a little dirt. What else about this person? Before my collective uh, gets into a, a commitment relationship or... Some type of partnership with this person, please and thank you. Anything else in here? One more. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Unfazed. Okay. Unfazed. Maybe this have not even crossed your mind that this person just wants a, uh, you for a quick sex fix every now and then or want you to be a secret lover. Okay. You may not know it now, but you may regret it later when you find out this person ain't shit. Okay, that's what spirit trying to let you know. So, hey, right, let's get a little, dig a little deeper on this person here. Spirit, what's going on with this person? What, what kind of secrets they got on my collective? They're not sharing with my collective here. Hold on, collective. Like I told you, I never know. I just pick up whatever spirit tell me to pick up. I have no idea what's in here, what's in this little secret deck with spirit. You do. So what does the collective need to be aware of about this person at this time? What are they hiding? What are they hiding from my collective? Why would they be a bad choice for my collective? Please and thank you. It says, mentioned you. Well, abuse of power mentions you, you know, especially about them um, 
hating on your spirituality. Okay, abuse of power. This person may be abusive, controlling. Okay, you should be worried. All right. Well, are they worried about you finding out the secrets they're keeping here? Okay, because you're you right now you're acting unfazed, like you're not even want to you even do a background check on this person. You know, to see what, what their last relationship was like. I mean, what were their family like? Or, you know, all of those questions that you need to ask, you need to ask, okay? You need to know that this person, you know, let them know that you're not a quick sex fix for them. Or you don't want to just bluntly say it like that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not trying to be no in the closet lover or no shit like that. No secret lover, you know, or anything like that. Okay, don't don't be so unfazed. Don't be so, like, you know, not want to know. Be on the need to know basis with this person. Avoid, avoid this bad karma. Avoid this uh, something that you may regret here. Because this person, you know, could not turn out to be shit. It could be a bad choice, like Spirit said. This person could be controlling. Okay? Wow. And they're already not telling you the truth. What else is here, Spirit? What else are they not saying? Wow. That they would go against you. Okay? They would go against you. What else is here, Spirit? Wow. Shit, I'm saying, and if you got family, they, they'll go against your family, too. Wow. Conflict with others. Four of Wands in the reverse. Okay? Breakdown in communication. Home. Conflict. They will go against you. Okay? And possibly your family members, too, as well. This person wants to feed off you. Okay, what else about this person? Something about their own version. Wow. Their own version. Okay. Why is this here, Spirit? We have friends. Wow. You could be in France or you don't have to be. You could have, I don't know, some kind of ties to France. Could have just visited France. Um, they could call you friend. Your name could be Francine, Frank. I don't know. What else is here? Rents. Hmm. Their own version of friends. It could be. Well, I'm getting their own version of what they consider paradise. Maybe an abuse of power to you. Hmm. What else is here, spirit? What else would you like for them to know? Do you want to find out that they come from a stable home? The spirit said, ask them that. Right? It says, get the message. Wants to make it up to you. Their own version, of course, of what that is. Could be abuse of power. Um, planning to meet up with the karmic. It feels you did them wrong. So what I'm getting out of that is this. A spirit is saying um, that if this person is just meeting up with you for a quick sex fix or want you to be a secret lover, I mean, they're going to have somebody else on the side, okay, because this person is confused about whether they want to be in a commitment or not, okay, if they want to have a future with you or just have a, you know, um, you just be a sex partner, all right? Um, they could be planning to meet up with the karmic in France because they land right on top of France. Okay. Wow. They'll be using their own version on the way they want to make it up to you. And I don't know. They're wondering if you get the message that they just want sex. That's it. <laughs> I mean, basically. This person's confused. They just want sex. Don't regret um uh, making a bad mistake here and you'll find out later that this person ain't shit this is for somebody here okay they just want you for a fling i just saw that they just want you for a fling all right they love you but they still cheat wow they love you but they still cheat planning to meet up with the karmic 
<laughs> wow, they could be planning on meeting up with the Cormac in France. I don't know. It's something about France. Oh, Lord. You are in phase and they're pretending to care. They're pretending to care. That's why it's important that you have the conversation. Okay, you have this person open up. Because they're not going to be, be able to be honest with you. Okay. They want to tell you the truth, but they can't. Because they told you the truth. And you, you know that they plan on meeting up with the karmic. Okay. Wow. The minute they feel that you did, you did the wrong. Okay. But they're pretending to care about you. <laughs> so this person is definitely confused. I have to get those cards. Oh, it's another one. Okay. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this person is definitely confused, Collective. Let's see. <laughs> They're like, if you, <laughs> they love you, but they still cheat. But they still want you to, you know, Please give me one more chance, okay? Even if you caught them cheating, okay? Because they're pretending to care. Okay, they may want to cause some conflict with your family members or friends here. Okay. This is a jealous person that you're getting involved with. They're very jealous. They don't want you to be close to anybody but them. But they want to do what they want to do. You know, have their cake and eat it too. All right, and they want you to be okay with that. All right. It says your ex is behind it. So this could be your ex for some of y'all. Okay. Or this could be somebody you may need a protection order after you get with them or whatever. Yeah. Most when you give this person, you'll figure out things are falling apart. Because this person is only there to pretend like they care. Pretending like they care. This person is full of confusion. You know. They, they don't have their head on straight. And they, they can't be honest with you. Okay. Some karmic is planning on getting readings on you. Okay. Spirit said, find a way out. <laughs> well, find a way out. This protection order may may come up a, a court case with a conflict with your family members or your friends here. Okay. What else we need to know about this karmic spirit? Wow. Oof. They could become unhinged. Okay. They become unhinged. Nonetheless, this person is confused, but they plan on coming towards you. The Spirit said, you know, think things through. Set the course. Okay. Well, and don't let it be a moment's regret. All right. You're going to find out this person ain't shit. What else? Thank you, Spirit. It could be in the United States here. Okay. Something about an Aries, a Scorpio, and a Capricorn here. Energy here. What else is here, Spirit? Well, they could be planning on meeting up with a karmic in France. They could have met you in France. You could be from France, okay? Unrecognizable. Wow. That really stood out. The situation will bring out the best in you. This situation will bring out the best in you. Okay. Especially if you pay attention to the red flags. Because this person is definitely trying to get you caught up in their confusion. Because they don't know what they want to do. They're unclear about being the commitment. They're just there to have some sort of sex fix or something. And they don't have any money. Okay. I don't know if they're pretending to have money. Or if, if you even asked that question. Okay. Uh, picking up on some Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Aries energy here. So we got Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra, Virgo, Le Leo. Aries, Taurus, what else is spirit? If you make the right choice and have no regrets, this situation will bring out the best in you. Okay? 
You don't know it yet, but this person that you that's on your mind ain't shit. And Spirit said, don't find out the hard way. Don't be fooled by this trickster. What else is here, Spirit? Anything else? You like folks selected to know to be aware of, please and thank you. Oh. It says India. So you could be in India or you could be from India. Okay. Yeah, I told you this person don't know how to tell you. I didn't know how to tell you. I'm unclear. I'm confused. I don't know if I just want you for a sex fix or for a secret lover or what, but I do have another person. All right, and I will cheat on you. All right, Spirit said, if you're unclear in this person, this person's unclear. All right, and if you're trying to hook up with this person, or this person's trying to hook up with you, you know, find out all the information on this person that you can, so you won't there won't be any regrets. Okay, and if you find anything that you don't like, use your intuition, use your discernment, find a way out. All right, with that, I'm going to end the message until next time. Namaste for now.